Our shovelers. Drink. Cans. 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 Good morning, everybody. Out in Texas, made a little week-long trip out here. Things were just getting pretty warm out in Virginia, of course, as soon as we planned the trip. Had a nice big winter storm blow in, so that made our trek out here quite the adventure. I had to drive through pretty heavy snowfall for a little while, but got out yesterday evening and did a bunch of scouting and was really encouraged by what I saw. Uh, they got a cold front here this past weekend. They're supposed to get another one on Thursday. Um, so I think migration is really starting to kick off. We saw a bunch of mallards, a lot of a lot of pintails, widgeon, gadwalls. So we're actually set up in the spot that I hunted um, the first time I hunted Texas public land last year. Um, this is a spot where I hunted the first time. It was a heavy south wind. It's going to be another heavy south wind today. Hopefully the birds will be coming in here heavy. We got just a couple minutes still shooting light now. Going to get loaded up and hopefully get on them. Beautiful North Texas morning. Kill one if you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can get up and get out of here quick with this wind. Wow. Wow. That was honestly impressive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Right, this one low right here. Mallard Drake. Let him all the way in. All the way in. Kill him there, Chase. Good shot. Good shot, Chase. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Is that another mallard? Yeah, let's make a move. Look. Going in there, just no second thoughts. So I don't know. Mm. Let's give it a little longer. Sure. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh yeah. I'm not ready to go y'all. Is that a hen shoveler? <laughs> One coming right in. Oh, he might follow her. Kill him? Yep, kill him. Oh, God. Yeah, yep. Go, go get it. Here we go. Two coming right out front. Nope, mallards. All right, let her go, let her go. Old Wade man's pretty dead set on retrieving both the gadwall and the mallard at one time. I think he got it now. Uh, no. <laughs> Wade, you want some help, Bubba? <laughs> uh. First bird of the day. Nice big old fat mallard chase shot. Oh, we got three, two mallard drakes and a gaddy hen. A little bit of sun made a big difference already, I think. Oh, nice, nice one too. Go jump, shoot him, Chase. He landed. If you don't go, I'm going. Go ahead. Oh yeah, holy smokes. 
Wow. Oh, I don't know what it is about Drake Shovler, but I just absolutely love the look of him. And uh, could never go in the decoys last year. So this one landed right about 50 and uh, had to start my trip out on a high note. That is sweet. I was trying to pick out a drake on that one. I got lucky and I think I probably picked out the prettiest drake of them all. That's a stud little green wing. Wow. Great start to the morning. Texas teal and spoonies. What were those? It is the woody, isn't it? The hen, didn't I? Yep, you shot the hen. <laughs> when we scouted here yesterday, we oh. Wait, that was a great <laughs> what is this? Will we see the teal or not? Yeah, you got a teal. I, I didn't even see him. We just gotta get rid of our live decoys anyway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I say we make a move. Birds are consistently landing just 80 yards over there, completely ignoring our spread, especially the mallards. So oh we're gonna pick up real quick, make that move. Really good cover over there as well. We got some hard ground right behind us instead of having to stand in the water. So I probably should have just set us up there to begin with. What you got, Drake Greenwing? Yeah. Hen. You're a hen shooter today. Alright. Guess you gotta get those out of the way on the first hunt. Yep. What are you seeing? Oh, yep. Is that a shovelish? I don't know. Got a lot of white on them. Let's just stand still. Probably shovelers. Drink. Cans. 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 Oh, yeah. My sled's running away. The wind is picking up steadily. Just had a flock of cans come in right when we were trying to move. Chase was the only one who had his gun. Luckily, smoked one. Uh, might be an expensive day for Chase. Holy smokes. Oh yeah. Well, good shooting. Let's get set up. Yeah. That is the last thing I expected to come back in this spot. <laughs> I mean, they can be out here, but. Oh, here we go on the right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What are gadwalls right over shot? Oh, man. Shoot one. I was about to say widgeon. Didn't... Why didn't y'all shoot? I don't have a shot. <laughs> they gone. You gotta shoot them gadwalls first pass around here most time. Uh, well, that's where we're set up now, under those trees. Birds have been landing in these willows, though, throughout the morning, just pairs, three singles. So, I really want to scout this. We didn't get to scout it yesterday. And also, I'm getting a little bit antsy. Not as much of a flight here later in the morning. So, see if I can't jump shoot a couple birds and just get a little bit of a lay of the land this year. Got him. Nice plumed out gadwall there. Last year when I had scouted this a couple times, there was always a few spoonies and gadwalls right in this little bit of sheet water. There was a little more water in here last year. And so, oh, sounds like some shooting. 
Oh, there goes a couple birds getting up right there. Uh, so I came around the corner real slow, thinking there might be a flock of birds here. Just these two, just the pair of gadwall, but he popped up right at the edge of range and smoked them on one shot. So I think uh, this jump shoot's definitely been a success. I'm gonna head on back to the spread and hopefully the birds will keep on moving because it sounds like Chase and Drew are getting some good shooting in. Grey Duck, what'd you get? Four coots. Four coots? Why don't you come over here and take a look? <laughs> Please tell me y'all didn't actually shoot four coots. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, then the, then the two shovelers. Came. Yeah, there were two ten he's, shovelers. He's pretty good. He's as good as the one I have on the wall. They still up? Oh yeah, here they come. <laughs> oh yeah. Right there where I just tried to jump first. There was nothing in there when I went over there. You wanna go jump them? You can probably get them. Might. <laughs> now they're going right into Chase and Drew. Oh, smoked him. That was a tall shot, too. Huh. Oh, you get another nice old fat greenhead. Only one curl though, but he's fat. He's Did he dig? Yeah, y'all shot him pretty. That was a good shot over top. He just looked up and all of a sudden he's sitting there. Oh, I didn't. I saw him coming all the way in. I was like, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. He was literally hovering right here, and I like, I didn't even have time to say anything because I pulled up and he was flaring. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know where those three mallards went. I I walked all the way through there and I didn't see any. Uh huh. Up, that's like 15 yards. Damn. No. What it? it. What? I never seen him. Why didn't you whistle? I never seen him. Uh. Well, just about lunchtime now. I decided to go ahead and call it a morning. Flight definitely slowed down actually throughout the morning, which I thought, thought was surprising. I figured with the wind picking up throughout the day, the birds that were out on the bigger coves early in the morning would have to fly around. But uh, I guess they just tucked up or found a good secluded spot because it definitely just got slower and slower and slower throughout the day. 
Uh, but still an awesome hunt. We ended with 14 birds, seven different species. Chase and I, I think, both got a bird for the wall. And really the only thing I think we could have done differently was just to make that move earlier. Um, after we watched two pairs of mallards work the same way and land out there at 80 yards, we should have gone over there right away. But I was just a little bit hesitant and it cost us a couple opportunities. So something we're going to have to be a little bit more flexible on moving forward. But we're going to get to scouting for tomorrow. Hopefully be able to have another hunt like this again. So. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and you want to see more of these waterfowl hunting videos, I'd really appreciate if you click that subscribe button. And if you had any questions about today's hunt, leave in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Hope everybody out there is staying safe. God bless and thanks for watching. There's actually a pond on the property that we're staying at. And Chase went down just to investigate and saw six gadwalls and we asked the landowner and they said they don't care if we try and make a stalk on them. So. Let's see if we can't get a little bit more meat for the day. Pond should be just over this hill. One's down. Two are down. Here, come grab this one. Good boy. Well, there's one right here. One made it over. Oh, good boy. Woo. The other one should be right in here somewhere. What? Oh, there is another dog. Hunt him up, buddy. Find him over there. Find him in there. Find him. Where you go? Find him in there, buddy. There he is. Boy. He got him. Boy. Another nice Drake. Good man. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. There we go. There we That's go. a pretty one. Uh, both of them are pretty. Yep. Cool. Well, that was a nice little end to the day. Not very often do you find a landowner like that that tells you to go shoot the pond behind their house. And actually has a handful of ducks on their pond, too.